Hi there, Diana from Adirondack Girl at Heart. I teach vintage and antique lovers how to create successful vintage and antique businesses that they'll love. One of the ways I do that is through these videos. Today I'm going to focus on a single haul that I made at an antique mall in Little Falls, New York. That's central New York. And um, it's called Little Falls Antique Center. I had so much fun wandering through this really huge antique mall with two floors. In particular, there was one <laughs> booth that had things priced in just the right range for me to make purchases for resale. So let's jump in and take a look at some of the things that I found. Oh my gosh, I don't know where to start. Okay, this is one of the first pieces that I found. It's a milk glass jar. Um, the lid is embossed. Uh, Riker, New York. Not sure if you can see that. This to me is super unusual. I have never ever seen this jar um, this rectangular shaped jar with a lid like that. I mean, you see the Pons jars and other um, face cream jars that are round or some of them have slightly decorative shapes, but basically round with a metal screw on lid. This is a lid that just rests on the top like that. And it comes with this gorgeous partial paper label. And then it's got... Um, directions on the back. So I was just fascinated by this piece and I paid $9 for it. I think on Etsy it could sell for $25 or more um, even without the paper label and some people might want to take the paper label off. I don't know but um, that was my very first fun find and I found some other ladies dresser type things like this really nice vanity jar not perfect on the top i like this rim it's a um not a screw on lid really nice quality heavy glass it was four dollars and i keep my jewelry on my dresser in a collection of vanity jars so i decided i'm going to keep this one if i were going to sell it i would price it at about 20 18 to 20 22 dollars something like that this I thought was super interesting. It was $3. It's Nivea, um, which we're all familiar with. I feel like this is an older jar. I've never seen it before. Love this ribbing. The lid is screw on and it's metal. If you know more about this jar, I'd love to hear um, if you think it's new. It was $3. Presuming that it's old, I would price it at $25 to $30, again, possibly on Etsy. Here's another piece. Absolutely love the shape of this jar. It says Adrian Bath Salts. Never heard of that. On the back, it says Boston, Los Angeles, net weight 13 ounces. The lid is a metal screw on and it is worth about, I would say the same, 20 to 25, $28, something like that. So that's it for the ladies dresser. But here is another glass piece it was in this bag. I buy old paperweights that have lost their image or where the image is um, coming off. This has got a little uh, plastic backing on it, a, sort of a velvet plastic. And I have plans <laughs> for projects. Like you could just put a photograph in them. Wouldn't that be beautiful? Or um, a mixed media art project is kind of what I have been planning for that. I thought this was just the cutest a lot of these creamers don't have handles they're they're sort of like that and this one has this sweet little handle and the ribbing up here this is a hall restaurant wear creamer in this delicate sort of beige color it was 250 i think it's worth about 10. i couldn't leave it behind could you have left it behind for at christmas time 
for the vintage craft show that I do. The craft show is not vintage -y. My things that I sell are vintage -y. I put bottle brush trees in these Dutch shoes and they sell for about $10. And um, Albany has a very powerful, strong Dutch history. So people are interested in things like that. I paid a dollar for these. So um, I try not to spend more than 50 cents for the shoe. Uh, and then, like I said, fill it with the bottle brush tree, depending on how, how big the shoe is. Sometimes I'll, I'll squeeze in like a little, a small Santa or an angel or something like that. Here's a Andy's Range trade card that I thought was so beautiful. I, I will scan it to use for projects. Here's the back. I paid $3 for her. And after I scan the front and the back, I will, I will um, frame her in a nice old frame and hopefully sell her for about $25 in the frame. And while we're looking at ephemera, I picked up two pictures. Here's a class picture. I'm fascinated by class pictures. And these kids are outside with their teacher, 25 cents. I try not to buy too many because I have I have a pile waiting to be scanned. I just thought with his cap and the way he's looking at his baby, 25 cents. So I will use those for projects. Okay, and then uh, I picked up a little trivet. This probably would have come with a little um, iron, a sad iron. And I have sold those sets before for 12 12 to 15 dollars. This was a dollar 25 without the iron, and um, just there's like pot so many possibilities for decorating where you could just hang it in a cute little nook, wait until you find the sad iron to go with it, um, use it in a shadow box, that sort of thing. Um, but if I were going to sell it just as it is, I'd probably put ten dollars on it. Now I have a few sewing things to show you picked up this pair of spools of thread, which I just think they're so beautiful when they're wrapped like this. This one is um, KT Co on the one side, but the American Thread Company, gosh, don't you love that logo with the star? And then this is Clark's. So I have an article on my website about thread, about vintage threads. So um, I will link to that in the description. I also have an article all about vanity jars, so I will link to that. I have an article about buttons. I loved the way these were displayed. This was a dollar for these two packs. I have uh, a free printable on my website of button cards. Some are are taken from actual, they're scans of actual antique button cards. They're beautiful. Others are more simple like this, where it just says buttons at the top. And you can print them out and put your own buttons on them. And I've done that and sold buttons that way. I'll link to that. When you subscribe to my newsletter, you get access to my member library, which has those button cards, the, the free printable button cards wanted to mention that. So this, you've probably seen this before, this little rocker with a pin cushion and then these um, little posts to put hold thread. And then it's got a place here at the top for a pair of scissors. And I plan to fill it with scissors and thread and put some more beaded pins on that cushion, but I was especially attracted to it because of the print. This is a feed sack print, and I just wrote a, an entire article all about feed sack fabric, and so I couldn't resist. This was $8 for this little rocker, and I think once I outfit it with all the other pieces, it I will price it at about $30 to $35. So that's it for the sewing. The last couple of things that I picked up are um, fabric, cotton fabric. I picked up two laundry bags in this um, really, 
I mean, old fashioned muslin um, with a drawstring top. I just thought someone's gonna love that laundry bag for their for their laundry room or maybe their college student. It was $4.50. I will price it probably at about 20, 18 to 20. And I picked up a similar one. It's got some nice, interesting seams right there down the middle. And it was also $4.50. And then there was a new package of this um, toweling fabric. I thought it was one piece of fabric and I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it, but it was five. The package was marked $5 and it's actually a set of seven towels. So I would call these um, flower sack towels, which some people love to dry their glassware, really nice, large size. And so it was $5 for seven. I think I'll price each one at least $3, maybe $3.50, something like that. So that's it for my haul from the Little Falls Antique Center. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything and that you'll subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, a thumbs up would be so appreciated. And as always, happy hunting. Thank you.